What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we are going to be going over insane MT making methods and stuff that is going on right now for you guys to make a lot of MT. Before we get into the video, <coughs> make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub and all that good stuff because today we are going to go over MT making methods. We are also going to stream, guys, please pull up to the stream later. We're going to have a stream around 1.30ish, maybe 2 Eastern, because, guys, we need to stream. It's been a while since we fired up. You guys have been showing some crazy support as of late, so I'm going to start streaming again. Um, if you guys remember, man, if you're OG, I used to run streams all the time, so we're going to continue to run streams probably this week. I need to run some streams for you guys, so... We're going to start streaming and whatnot. Make sure to smash the like button. Drop the sub. We're five away from 11.5K. And we will do some MT giveaways once we do hit um, 12,000 MT. So, I mean, 12,000 subs. So, make sure to do that. We're going to go over insane MT making methods. In the stream, we're probably going to play some gameplay. Go over the market market answers and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to go over a couple things in this video. People keep asking me, what do I invest in and all that good stuff? I will tell you. And also, we are selling MT on Xbox and PS4. So hit me up on Twitter and Insta if you are interested in some MT. So we got to go over a couple things. So a lot of people keep asking me, yo, Bugs, what do I invest in? Okay. I'm going to tell you this one more time, guys. You cannot invest in anything. There is nothing to invest in other than prime players. And as you guys can see, man, Kawhi Leonard is up about 100,000 MT. Paul George is about uh, uh, up about 100,000 MT. Luka Doncic is around the same price. Lamar Odom is around the same price as well. So I've been telling you guys to invest in Kawhi. If you guys don't remember, there was one for 440,000 MT yesterday or two days ago. And uh, this is probably one of the, the best cards you could probably pick up right now. I think Kawhi is definite, definitely a very good card to pick up. But then again, they might drop super packs. He could drop another 100K. But listen, listen to this, okay? So Paul George dropped a lot, which rose up his value, which also rose up his value for a little bit of time. So his price, Luka Doncic at 180, is a snag, in my opinion. I think it's worth getting Luka Doncic at that price. Now, I think center is going to come out because they have a small forward, a point guard, a shooting guard small forward, and now they have a shooting guard small forward again. So they have to drop... A center a power forward center is what's next in my opinion and the mystery player has got to be something insane probably a goal player if it's not a goal player i'm not locking it in because if you think about it this day and age they did just drop go kareem go kareem is one of the best cards in the game for around 1.82 million so since he is that much money this set goes for like 1.8 ish 1.9 ish that's a very good price for a goat card okay I'm thinking about selling my whole collection and rocking Kareem because, dude, Kareem is absolutely insane. But then again, I have all these prime cards that I kind of want to hold on to because Paul George is insane. Kawhi, I'd rather have Kawhi and Paul George on the lineup with Lamar Odom and Luka off the bench than have Jimmy Butler um, and them off the bench. But here's some methods for you guys, okay? I've been seeing so many people eat on this filter, and I literally want to try it myself because... If you guys do this, you will make a million MT in one shot and or get Gold Kareem for 400k. So honestly, in my stream, I'm thinking about running this um, this method. I'm pretty sure it's pretty solid. Where is it, man? Why can't I find Showtime series, man? Showtime. Here it is, man. Galaxy Oval Showtime enabled. Now, oh my god. Jimmy Butler dropped to a buyout. But other than that, man, Rashad Lewis is going to be a deadly, deadly, deadly snag if you do end up getting him. Yes, people are saying MT sites are botching the price, but yo, I promise you, man, They're even if they botch the price, it makes this game relevant still. They hold prices at the top, which makes sense. You don't want to see a gold player under one mil. If, if you think about it, 
Rashad Lewis would be like under 1 million MT. So honestly, I'm going to thank them. You guys could disagree. I don't really care. But I think it's a very good idea. Also, man, if you guys want to make a lot of MT, get on the Evo grind. I'm trying to grind out this JR Smith. Uh, I was trying to get Lance, but I was like, forget it. JR Smith, man, I need 90 more steals. I need a couple more block shots, some rebounds. This JR Smith turns into a literally Henny got. Okay, 98 speed. He gets a 99 steal, which is insane. His badges are absolutely crazy. Like, think about it. I'm going to say this right now. J.R. Smith is one of my best players regardless, non-Evo and whatnot. He is my best shooter ever. I've never played with a better shooter in 2K in a very long time. He makes almost every shot. So if you guys want, you could probably grind him out and make a lot of MT. And yes, this is not my final squad. I'm probably going to sell most of my players and make a lot of MT. But uh, there's a lot going on, guys. I also got Dennis Robin. I got Gasol. I got Pierce. We're about 34 out of 50 done with Bird. Once we get Bird, we're balling. But yo, you guys are here for a couple things. So how to make MT fast right now, okay? I'm going to say this. Triple threat is definitely a very good, a very good method. As long as they do drop fire stuff. Right now, man, double the chance on single player TTO vaults. And now it does expire to 24. So tomorrow we're probably going to get some new TTO old Galaxy Oval players. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, these cards are trash. You probably don't want to play for these. But June 24th, which is on, I think, uh, Wednesday, we will get new single player triple threat players. Multiplayer TTO online is a pretty good way. Pink Dime Filter has been absolutely incredible. Pink Dime Filter is probably a very good way as well. Um, you could probably enable out some pink diamonds. If you have like 100k sitting there, I would probably buy Nate Robinson, Rashad Lewis, Jared Dudley, James Paxton, David Thompson, like 5k each, whatever. Buy them all out, man. Make your MT. It's going to be a lot easier to snipe. If you do buy them out, um, pretty solid MT making method right here. Also, guys, tomorrow's going to be a big market crash. So honestly, either tomorrow, Sunday, sell your cards. I'm selling every single card besides... <sighs> Uh, it's annoying because I want to sell my prime cards. I'm selling everybody besides my prime cards and J.R. Smith. Everybody else, Chris Weber, Clay Thompson, Bull Bull, Manu Bull, some other cards I have to sell. I have to sell them, man. I have to get my MT up. I'm selling Pascal Siakam right now. Um, I, I might sell Giannis. I'm thinking about it because Giannis's price is pretty high. But guys, right now, what you should be doing is honestly just searching the auction block I really, this is end game, guys. You're probably going to have like no other time to sell these cards. These are probably the best time you could probably sell cards at this point, man. It's end game. The market continues to crash. You're going to continue to lose MT. Like Jason Tatum dropped a ton. Eddie Jones dropped a ton. Like I'm just trying to do a nice, huge clean out. I'm probably thinking about selling my Paul George or Co. I'm trying to sell everybody because. It's scary, man. At this day and age, man, I don't know what's going to hold up. But all I know is that Paul George, I could have sold him for a million MT at a point. Now he's at 450. Same with Kawhi, man. If you really want to minus Kawhi, you're not going to buy him for 550. It's not worth it. I mean, he's worth it, but it's a lot of MT, bro. 550,000 MT for Galaxy Oval Kawhi. You have to think about that, man. Is it worth it? Do you think the Prime says it's going to be worth it? I hate how they have a mystery player because nobody knows what it is. And if it's a bust, man, no one's going to like it. Everyone's going to sell up. If it's a really good player, man, if it's a GOAT card, you're going to see this prime set. When they drop that mystery player, this prime set is going to stack up in value. That's why I'm saying right now is actually a very good time to invest in prime cards. Other than Kawhi, Kawhi I think is too expensive. I don't think he goes up that much more. But I think... Dude, every day, one of the prime cards go up, one of the prime cards go down. It's very interesting. Right now, I feel like Lamar Odom's a very good investment because, yo, he's all around pretty deadly. He has very good stats, and I think his value does go up, even though he does not have a good steal, a good perimeter. He's probably going to be at the bottom of my bench. I really don't like how he plays. He's pretty decent, but Luka Doncic, man, fan, he's pretty much a fan favorite card. I would probably pick a Luka and Lamar Odom. I think Luka might get an Evo, same with Lamar. Paul George, it's up to you, man. He is a little expensive. If you could maybe snag him for around 300,000 MT, that's a pretty big W. And then Kawhi, I'm, I'm saying this, man. I'm not getting Kawhi until he's around 400,000 MT. That's what's going to make you MT. Prime set's definitely one of the best ways to make MT. Scouting out the Showtime set as well. Jimmy Butler's a buyout. You could probably snipe out a couple of him. But yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. I really just hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know if you guys are going for Kareem or Rashad Lewis. Try out the Pink Diamond Filter. 
And that's really all. We're going to have a stream later. Hopefully a locker code drops for you guys. And yeah, that's really all we got for the video. Stay tuned for more content. Drop the sub. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good one. Peace.